XBHP is a motorcycling platform that was created in 2002 as a single web page created on a desktop computer to get all kinds of bikers together. In effect, it was the first automotive social media network in India. We also love to do small creative projects like putting 1300 Hot Wheel cars on a 1340cc Hayabusa motorcycle and creating helmets for our motorcycles and needless to say, we were born digital and we ride even strongly on the digital superhighway with class leading content. As we started recording even higher megapixels, the need for an even more powerful in-house computer grew. A computer that can edit 4K videos and very heavy raw files, along with fulfilling the needs for 4K gaming in between edits on a massive 120 inches screen. The project is about amalgamating our two loves, computers and motorcycles. The two things that are the basis of the XPHP's existence. We got inspired by a couple of projects that we saw online. But astonishingly, there were just a couple out of them. And none of them was done in India. There were three pieces to the puzzle. Which bike it will be based on, what components we will use, and the procedure for the build. Some of you know we have some of the best bikes ever made in the XBHP garage. From the world's fastest, the Ninja H2, to the world's largest, the Rocket 3R. But we wanted to have something which was made closer to home, yet represented speed and the pride of being made in India. After all, XBHP is one of the very few print magazines and platforms that is completely Indian thoroughbred. We had a few options from a completely made in India motorcycle and in the end, we had only one sports bike which is completely made in India the TVS Apache RR310. It is powerful, extremely suave and beautiful and most importantly, it is developed with the TVS racing department DNA and experience. We got even more inspired to choose the RR310 as this was the last bike that we converted into the 18 years of XVHP color theme, Golden and Black Mirror. In our eyes, the RR310 is the most beautiful all-Indian sports motorcycle. Perfect for us to show that India has arrived. The next step was to think up of a name. And after a few permutations and combinations, we came up with the fastest TVS Cyber Apache. Now, for the next step. Having piloted some of the best motorcycles and cars in the world, we had to make sure that the components could match those credentials and could also reflect what the TVS Apache RR310 stands for. Performance and speed. Let us teleport to the Moto Cave, the place in XBHP headquarters in Delhi, where many ideas are born, where I brood and think as the motographer. Welcome to the Moto Cave guys, this is Sunny also known as the Motographer and I want to introduce you to the first partner in crime in this project which is absolutely different than whatever we have thought of so far. I mean we have been there at it since 18 years and this is the first time we have thought of making a computer and a motorcycle in one. So let me introduce you to Karan Singh Bansatta or KSB. He is the guy who is our resident computer buff and he also takes care of the XPHP print magazine which is right here. So he takes care of the magazine, the content and he is responsible for the magazine coming out on time. So I will give the uh, reins to Mr. KSB because he is going to explain exactly what components are we using in this build. KSB, which component would you like to introduce first? First off, the processor, of course. And we've gone with the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X. Why? Because when it comes to desktop computing, this is meant for absolute domination. 16 cores, 32 threads, 3.4 gigahertz of base clock and 4.9 boost. That is a lot of power. The thing which I want to pair up this with is something that we have in our garage for real. 
from the motorcycling world and it is a Ninja H2 which is the world's only supercharged production motorcycle but the real magic happens with the supercharger it gives it such a boost so that is another common term between the, this processor and the, the motorcycle which actually propels it to insane speeds and in double quick time. Uh, there was nothing uh, better than uh, this bike that I could have actually paired up with the, the processor with because this is fast. So I'm really excited to finally, you know, try a desktop after all these years of using a laptop. It's powered by an N94, 1000cc, but the difference is made by the supercharger. And for that, I have just the same. So this is the supercharger for our processor because the ROG Strix LC2 360 ARGB liquid CPU cooler. Now that's a mouthful and it's a lot of performance as well. So what you get with it is 360 mm of cooling goodness with the beefy radiator and three 120 mm fans blowing air through it trying to keep your CPU cool. And trust me, this has enough to keep the operating temperatures of the 5950X well within check. The analogy which I have for the liquid cooler here is uh, none other than Princess Elsa. She has the ability to control ice and snow and of course subsequently the temperature you know around her environment. Now another thing that I really like about this one is the addressable RGB. It is connected to the headers of the motherboard and it can be controlled via software. Now, a lot of people may think that a 360 AIO would be overkill, but trust me, with a processor like that, all that performance, all the heat output, you need all the cooling you can get. Simply because the lower the temperatures, the higher it can boost and the longer it can maintain that performance. Next up, we need a home for our processor and we found it in the ROG Strix X570E gaming motherboard. This board right here can feed our processor all the power it needs all day long without getting tired. We get two M.2 slots with their own heat sinks. We have Wi-Fi 6 connectivity. It looks really cool as well. All those metal shrouds and all of that, rainfall pattern, cyber text pattern and all of that. So all the components that go into our build can be connected to this and the lighting can be seen. It, it, it's so beautiful. I mean, look at this. Uh, I'm going to show you what I think this is closest to. Present you the Iron Man here. The thing is that he ties up a lot of things like, you know, his, the abilities of, you know, stuff that his helmet can do from um, his arc reactor, uh, which could be the power supply unit. Since Iron Man ties up a lot of technology together, I feel that, you know, motherboard is best paired up with Iron Man for my collection. Next up, we have RAM. Now we have a really fast processor and a really good motherboard. So we needed good memory fast memory. So we went with G-Skill because they are the leading manufacturers of memory modules. This particular model, it's called Trident Z Neo. It is compatible with AMD Ryzen. Most memories are, but this one is a bit more tuned to help the processor make the most out of it. These modules look really cool as well. And to top it all off, RGB compatible with Aura Sync. But now talking about the analogy, I actually did uh, quite a research uh, in, you know, actually what can go uh, with RAM. And you won't believe that I found a character which I did not know about, which apparently is one of the most powerful anti-heroes or villains presenting you the Taskmaster. Taskmaster apparently can replicate the moves, no matter how complex they are, of anyone. The another thing is that when you have to replicate someone's moves or something, you have to remember it, you know, of course, in your head and then you replicate it. He cannot remember uh, the short term memory. Much like when you turn off the computer, all these things stored in the RAM, Vanish. they go. Right, so like the taskmaster is fast and can replicate what is written on the hard disk, like the RAM, uh, but it loses the memory. Next up, we have storage and we need something that is fast, that can match up to our processor, the motherboard, the RAM. Our motherboard has Gen 4 storage capabilities. That is blazing fast storage. XPG Extreme Performance Gaming. It's a subsidiary of Adata. Their aim is to combine affordability with scathing performance. You get 7400 megabytes per second of read speed and 6400 megabytes per second of write speed. Simply moving one thing from another, it goes in a flash. So this 
will be our storage and we've got two terabytes of it. The analogy here, which I want to bring about, I won't pair it up with the superhero in this case. This is the Honda Goldwing. A lot of people say this, this is a car on wheels, this is a house on wheels or whatever. There is a lot of storage space. The speed, the storage, the amount of storage it has. These are now getting hotter and hotter, but this one gets this beautiful heat sink. The storage and the RAM, we got them from Acro Engineering Company. I've been into building PCs for a while now. It has been a side hobby. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest problems here is that you do not get a lot of premium components. With brands like Acro Engineering Company bringing in premium brands, they are doing their best. And it is a great job that they are able to bring brands like Gscale and XPG to India. So, you know, I want to thank Acro for doing this. And there are still a lot of things which are not there in India. And I hope that, you know, they get them. Next up, we have the big gun, the graphics card. So the one that we have here comes from Asus and it's called the ROG Strix Gaming 3080 Ti OC. OC as in overclock. You get top of the line capacitors, chokes and MOSFETs. That is a vital part of the power delivery system and you need those components to be in top order in order to be able to feed a card that may very well pull around 350 watts. This one comes with a 2.9 slot design and a really really beefy heatsink and with three fans on top in order to keep it cool. In OC mode can hit a boost clock of 1845 megahertz. That is a lot and it does that with ease. There is even more headroom if you want to play around and if you want to overclock it further, you can do that. And this comes with the ASUS uh, GPU Tweak 2 utility that you can use to overclock the card and all of that. You also get a graphics card that looks beautiful as well. Sturdy flow through backplate brushed metal accents on the shroud and of course RGB that can be adjusted using Aura Sync. Up till now, um, for me, computer components were just very tacky looking. They were very complex looking. I mean, there was there was no beauty about mm -hmm. it. But till now, most of the components that I've seen, they're actually also very beautiful. I didn't really find trouble in pairing this up with, uh, you know, something. But that also is in our garage. Fortunately, that is the world's largest production capacity motorcycle, which is the Triumph Rocket 3 R. And that's a new version of it, the 2020. It's beautiful, it's fast. Why I'm actually pairing this up with the graphic card is because this, in terms of looks, it has three fans. And the Rocket 3, by the name, it also has three cylinders. And that is fast, that is like extremely fast. It's not supposed to be a cruiser. And uh, it's in fact the quickest accelerating cruiser in the world right now. You know, we are trying to do something which has not been done in India before. I think you're forgetting something. You know, because uh, in all the components you say that this requires this much power, that requires that much power. It's all about power, but where are we getting that power from? That is what our next component is going to be all about. So this is our power supply unit, ROG Thor 1200 watt. Platinum. Now we have a lot of world, uh, world class components. They're really power hungry as well. The processor, the graphics card and the rest of the components mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. So we need clean power. We need good power. We need unadulterated power for our components. This PSU gets an 80 plus platinum rating along with a Lambda A plus rating. So that means that all your components will be safe and the power will be clean. This one is really beautiful on the outside as well. The really special feature is the OLED screen. So this gives you a live readout of how much power is being consumed by your computer. So this one I'm going to pair up with uh, a superhero which was actually born because of lightning. It is none other than Mr. Barry Allen. When he got struck by lightning, uh, when the particle accelerator exploded, the dark matter infused him with his uh, super speed, you know, and he can travel in time, he can, uh, you know, do a lot of insane stuff. And ultimately, the PSU, without the PSU power supply unit, the desktop will not become flash. It will not become the fastest cyber Apache that we are about to build. Um, you know, a lot of components there, a lot of cool stuff here, a lot of cool motorcycles. So it's like a dream come true, you know. Yeah. I was always uh, into gaming, mm. but I never could find time. 
ever since I started XBG because uh, either I'm on the motorcycle I'm, or I'm doing photography or something. So, but I really want to be able to do gaming and I feel that this would be a great gaming build. On top of that, you know, you have to see how it will look. Now talking about how this build will look, you have to wait and see the next episode because then we are going to show you a little bit on how we are brainstorming on the looks of it. Now, as you have seen, most of our components come from ASUS ROG. But why is that? It's pretty simple. ROG is a sub-brand of ASUS dedicated to the most hardcore gamers and enthusiasts. During our quest to find the best components for this very special build, most of our efforts led to ROG being the best in business. Continuous evolution and innovation have established ROG as the go-to brand for people like us who want nothing but the best. From looks to performance and from purchase to service, there is nothing quite like the ROG experience. And that, folks, is all for this episode. In the next episode, we delve upon the options available with us to create the build as we decide on how it will look and process to get there. Till then, ride safe, game hard.